do not even say it. Okay, done, Mr. King. You can only be here if you're gonna be quiet and reasonable. I just need to get through the next two minutes. Because it might be your last opportunity for the next 18 to 22 years. Oh God, I'm gonna be sick. Morning sickness hits at all times of day. Quiet and reasonable. So sorry. What if, might I posit a thesis? No. Yes. What if you take the test incorrectly, I mean, and the test says you're not pregnant, but then you turn out to be one of those women who uh, nine months later pee out their baby? That doesn't happen. We'll watch the hips. I bet all my money on hip fat. The ass spreads out. The body prepares and whatnot. Oh God, we're already dealing with the thighs. My thighs are fine. Oh honey, no. Can I just? No. The other thing that could happen is you could take it and you're pregnant and you want to marry Thomas, but well, what if he's gay? Now that's actually a great point. He's not gay and I don't want to marry him. I mean. Remember your high school boyfriend, sometimes it's hard to tell. I might be pregnant because we had sex. He's not gay. Well, perhaps he's not gay, but what if his paternal instincts are not? He doesn't change diapers, or all of a sudden he pulls away and walls himself off as the impending doom and monotony of fatherhood wears on all his previous ambition. And you spend the rest of your life walking on eggshells because at any moment you could set him off from the loud way you latch the bathroom door or from wearing his socks and that's it. That's the final sensory offense. And it's not like you loved him, but at least it was someone else there. Just shut up for a second. What is your mom gonna think? You could give her a heart attack. We'll get her mom to help. Just because she has a kid doesn't mean she doesn't get to do what she wants anymore. She's still got a blog schedule to maintain. Oh, now you're into the blog? <laughs> here, let me take that. I'll put it over here. Don't let it touch me! To be quite honest, she's not going to be able to write if she has a kid. Implausible. If she can't think straight now, a baby won't exactly enhance her neural plasticity. Uh, plus, uh, mothers have to be either good artists or good mothers. You can't be both. Yeah, I've never heard of that. Look, the only reason we're doing this is to get ahead of it. God forbid Thomas did this to us. So we cannot have little baby Thomas is running around this apartment. We will not have a nerd baby. We will only have cool babies in this apartment. Her baby is going to hate her. She's gonna know about the tequila and the oops, and she's gonna hold it against her for the rest of her life. It's true. Odds are she'll hate you. On literally every level, you do not have your shit together. This baby should be grateful that she even has a mother. Plus, the blog is gonna take off. Quinoa is making a comeback. But how do you pay for preschool with a quinoa blog? Uh, residuals? I is that the term? Uh, oh god, we don't know what we're doing. That's another thing. Just wait until you see how expensive these preschools are. Especially in the city. You gotta start at two years old with the applications. Hi! 30 Day Detox starts tomorrow, babe! Um, can you come down to the townhouse and pull my juicer out the storage and clean it tonight? Okay, thanks! Mwah! That cannot be true. And if you don't start in pre-pre-K, the kid will never get into college. It's a slippery slope from birth, pun very much intended. So what? The kid's gonna be a genius, get a scholarship, she'll probably be speaking full sentences on the way out. Unless she has a C-section, which we all know is inferior to the vaginal canal. Oh, I did not know that. And no, we will be going full vagina. Um... <laughs> uh... I'm pregnant.